In this video, we will learn all about alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles have to do with two lines and a transversal. When you have this situation, there will always be two pairs of alternate interior angles. Here's one. As you can see, these two angles are on opposite sides of the transversal and on the inside of the lines. That's why they're called alternate interior angles. Alternate is sort of like opposite. They're on opposite sides of the transversal. And interior means inside the lines. The other pair of alternate interior angles in this picture is right here. Alternate interior angles are especially interesting if the lines are parallel or if the angles are congruent. It turns out that alternate interior angles are congruent if and only if those lines are parallel. This is a biconditional statement, meaning it goes in both directions. So, if two lines are parallel, so if these lines were marked as parallel, then I would know for sure that these alternate interior angles that I marked are congruent. The other way around is also true. If I knew that these two angles, the alternate interior angles, were congruent, that would mean the lines have to be parallel, even if they're not marked that way. So let's look at another example of each of those cases. The first situation would be if we have two parallel lines and a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. So if I knew that this angle was 60 degrees, that means this angle also has to be 60 degrees. The other way around would be if I have two lines and I don't know whether or not they are parallel, but I have two angles that are alternate interior and they're marked as being congruent, so they're both the same. For example, they're both 100. That means that the lines have to be parallel. So even though it wasn't marked, I know that these two lines have to be parallel because the alternate interior angles are congruent. The last thing to keep in mind is that even if the lines are not parallel, they're still considered alternate interior angles. So if we had this situation with two lines that are clearly not parallel because they would intersect and a transversal, these angles are still considered alternate interior angles. They're just not congruent and there's not really anything special about them. So we tend to focus on the situations where lines are congruent or where the alternate interior angles are congruent or sorry, lines are parallel or alternate interior angles are congruent because that's when it gets interesting.